Hi, this is David Olamsky, and welcome to the Parsha in 5, where in five minutes we give you a little idea for the Parsha, for you to have something to say over. If you're someplace and they say, no, do you have a word in the Parsha? So you can think to yourself, wow, I'm so lucky I listened to the Parsha in 5 by Rabbi Olavsky. <laughs> Parsha's Akev. And I asked the question last week. Since HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to say the first Parsha of Shema every morning and every night because it says it was Shach B'chav Kumecha, and because Hashem wants us to say the second paragraph of Shema Avahayayim Shemoa every morning and every night because it says it was Shach B'chav Kumecha, why weren't they put next to each other? And I said, I believe that the first paragraph of Shema was put into Parshas Ve'eschanan because it fits in there thematically. And the second paragraph of Shema was put into Parshas Akev because it fits into there thematically. What is the theme in Akev? There's a lot of different ideas in Akev, but from the historical perspective, it is recounting the story of the Egel Azov. The Eschanan tells us Moshe Rabbeinu uh, went up on Hasinai, Kodesh Baruch who spoke to us, and then he goes up the mountain. That part we have. Here, the people build the Egel. Moshe comes down. He breaks the Luchos. He goes up for another 40 days and 40 nights. He gets a Kodesh Baruch Hu not to destroy B'nai Israel, But he says, he won't be together with us. And we say, that's not good enough. And he goes up for another 40 days and 40 nights. And gets another set of luchas and comes down. Which means what? The first paragraph of Shema, as we mentioned the last time, is Shema Yisrael Hashem Ekeno Hashem Echad. There's only Hashem, and therefore love Hashem, because that's the greatest pleasure. That's, that's it. It's very positive. It's Mamad Har Sinai. But there's a reality, and that is people are not always consistent in their behavior, as you no doubt no. If you ask people why they should not speed, drive very fast, uh, if they're intelligent people, they'll tell you because I have less control over my car and I am more at a risk of killing myself or others. And then you see people do speed and you say, why are you speeding? And they said, because I'm late. But you have a better chance of killing yourself or others. You won't be late. You will be the late so-and-so. And And they say, I know, but I'm not focusing on reality. The Egel is all about us not focusing on reality. We were pulled into the illusions of the Satan, where we saw the world turning back to Tovahu. We saw Moshe dead. We saw everything over. We, We were out of control. We lost our perspective on reality. So, We put up speed cameras and we say, if you speed, you're going to get a speeding ticket. You're going to have to pay a big fine and get points on your tickets and your uh, your license and your insurance will go up. Oh, in that case, I won't speed. The fact that I might kill myself or others, well, that's not such a motivation, but I don't want to get a punishment. And therefore, in the first paragraph of Shema, we say, love Hashem because that's the greatest pleasure. But if that doesn't work for you, then remember the following. If you're good, you'll get a reward. And if you're bad, you'll get a punishment. If you're good, then you'll get rain and you'll get your crops and everything will be good. And if you are bad, then you will get uh, uh, exiled from your land. There won't be any rain. It'll be a terrible thing. Because unfortunately, rewards and punishments help us to be consistent with what we know to be correct. That's not the best motivation. The best motivation is I want to be standing at Har Sinai I want to be able to have that intimate relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu that is described in the first paragraph of Shema, and that's the best. But in the second paragraph of Shema, we say, if you slip and you want to do the wrong thing and you're inconsistent, because people always are inconsistent. People who have diabetes eat food that they know they're not supposed to eat. People are always inconsistent. I saw an email that said, I miss going to the gym today. That makes four years. People are inconsistent. Not because he doesn't believe in it. So therefore, if you get a punishment, or you'll get a reward, it's childish. But if you're a good boy, you'll get a candy. If you're bad, you'll get a potch. 
That serves as a motivation for people who are not in touch with reality. The Egel is about not being in touch with reality. And the second paragraph of Shema tells us, do the right thing. And if that's not enough, then I will give you motivations to do the right thing and not to do the wrong thing. Mitz Hashem, we will all do the right thing. Good Shabbos.